Is it recording? Good morning, FHS. Be careful, all my Roman dictators out there, because today is the Ides of March. I'm Angus, and here are your announcements for Tuesday, March 15th. Here are some club announcements. Dungeons and Dragons is meeting at lunch today in C-154. Debate Club has a meeting at lunch in C-107. Chess Club is meeting in C-73 at lunch today. Emergency Response Team has a meeting after school in C-24. Attention to all art enthusiasts and enjoyers! The FHS Art Gallery will be open on Wednesdays at lunch. It features work from grade 9 to 12 visual arts students. The art gallery is located on the bottom floor of the sea wing near the office stairway. Please come down and check out the amazing talent of our students. And now some info from the grad class. Our next grad dress up day will be Friday, March 18th. The theme is decades. Dress up in the fashion of your favorite decade. The grad class committee will be selling grilled cheese at lunch on Tuesdays beginning March 22nd. The cost is yet to be determined. The grad class committee will also be selling popcorn at lunch on Thursdays, beginning March 24th. Cost is also yet to be determined. There will be a meeting for any grade 10 or 11 students interested in the AP Capstone program or who are thinking about taking an AP course in the future, Wednesday, March 16th at 12.30 p.m. in the Tom Morrison Theater. Geography Challenge, a reminder to the students that have been notified through the Teams page that you are writing the school level Canadian Geography Challenge at noon hour Friday. Come prepared and hungry. See you in Madame MK's room, C137. Duke of Edinburgh will be holding an awards ceremony on Thursday, March 17th in C137 at 1220. Please be there promptly and bring your lunch, your smiles, and your congratulations to our new award recipients. And now, a message from our AP Literature and English departments. Hi, I'm Mr. Ross and I'm slated to teach AP Literature and Composition. This course dives deep into character, setting, structure, and narration through the reading of novels, short stories, and poetry. It teaches in-depth literary argumentation as the means by which to develop thoughts about those ideas. In addition, literary movements, terms, and parts of speech will be studied. Students who take this course will be well suited to take the AP English Literature and Composition exam, which in turn gives individuals the prospect of applying for a first year university credit in English from such schools as UNB, STU, McGill, U of T, and many others. AP Literature and Composition is the course for students who love to read, write, and think about literature. Although it doesn't replace 11 or 12 English, it is for those students who want to take the next step into their post-secondary lives. tell somebody who's thinking about taking this course to definitely take it. I definitely learned a lot more about feminism in general um, and about a lot more issues that I didn't previously know about uh, for coming to this class. This is a really important class to teach lots of people about feminism and to teach people about what's going on in the world. We did a lot of discussion and we listened to uh, a lot of people talk, we watched a lot of videos and we basically just consumed as much knowledge as we could to educationally talk about some issues in society. My favorite part of this class was definitely um, the social action projects. Uh, I think it was really awesome to give students kind of the chance to uh, take their own leads and um, to improve the community. I really like the fact that we talk a lot. It's a safe space that you can say a lot about yourself and you can talk about your experiences. It really gives perspective and shape to everything that happens around us. Everybody should take this course, I think. I think it's really important to learn about these issues because um, they're important. Do you enjoy creating worlds where imaginary creatures live? Would you like to learn how to enhance those worlds to captivate readers? Join WordFest this Saturday, March 19th at 10.30 to sharpen your world-building skills.
like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, let's do it again. Second half of the chorus, but bring that sound in. That's great. Drop that real quick. I'm gonna play these two, and then you tell me which one you think, um, and I'll tell you what I. Go ahead. The recording and sound design course is pretty special at FHS. We have facilities here that most universities don't have. If you are at all into making your own music and you want to learn how to record it in a more professional way, or you just want to explore what you sound like, or if you've been playing an instrument for years but you've never actually learned how to record yourself, this is the class for you. The projects are open and you can create whatever you want. Um, I've had many students come out of this course who've released EPs with material that they've made uh, in the class, collaborations have been formed, bands have been formed, and friendships have been made that last a lifetime. I'll give you 20 bucks if you take this course. Will not give you 20 bucks. some sports info. Rugby is starting up this week, kicking off with our men's first session Wednesday, March 16th from 4 to 5.30. Women's will start Thursday, March 17th at 5.45, going to 7.15. Men's will have an information recruitment session Thursday, March 17th at lunchtime in the room above the gym. Both men and women's rugby are looking to have their second session Friday, March 18th and the time is yet to be determined. And those have been all of your announcements for Thursday, March 15th. Have a fantabulous day, FHS. <laughs> <laughs>